Hi, my name is Steve Wyborny, and this video is about how you can create your own hundreds chart in either Excel or in Google Sheets. Let's go ahead and start with Excel. You can see that I have my Excel document open, and I'm going to click in the first cell and type in the number one, and then I'm going to click in the second cell and type in the number two. Now, an interesting note, to create a hundreds chart, those are the only two numbers you'll actually need to enter. Before I go any further, I'm going to select both of these cells. I'm going to center the content from left to right, and I'm also going to middle align or center the content vertically. And then after I've done that, I'm also going to select a border for the cells, and I'll simply choose this one which says all borders. Now from this point, you can see that there's a little square handle here. I'll click on the handle, and I'm going to drag this out all the way until the cells autofill to the number 12. Now in a hundred chart, I actually only need the numbers one through 10 in each row, but the reason that I've pulled this all the way to 12 is that now I can select 11 and 12 and I can cut these. I'm just going to use control X on my keyboard and then paste them beneath the one and the two. So I'll simply use control V and I'll paste those. And then I'm going to find this handle again right here and I'm going to drag this all the way to 20. So now I have a chart from 1 through 20, and I'm going to select all of the cells from 1 through 20, and then I'm going to find the handle again, the square handle right here. I'll click on it, and I'm going to drag this down all the way so that this auto fills all the way through 100. If I wanted, I could make a 120 chart simply by pulling it down just a little further. But for the purposes of this video, I'm simply going to auto fill through the number 100. Now I also might want to adjust the appearance of the cells. To do that I can click right here to select all of the cells in the sheet and I can make the cells deeper or wider or less wide and then I can also change the size of the font. I'm going to click here and I'll select 18 as an example. And that's it. My hundreds chart is finished. If I want to preview the hundreds chart I can come to file and print and there is the hundreds chart right there. I can save this as an Excel file or I can save it as a PDF, which I'll do right now. And here is the completed hundreds chart saved as a PDF ready to use. If you want this chart, you can simply download it by clicking on the link below. So that's how to create a hundreds chart in Excel. How do we do this in Google Sheets? So let's go ahead and go through the process in Sheets. I think you'll see that it's actually very, very similar. Okay, here we are in Google Sheets, and you'll see that in Google Sheets, you simply need to enter the number one, the number two, just like in Excel, and then from here, you can select both cells. You can also center the cells before you autofill them. You can center them both vertically and horizontally, and add the cell border as well, which is right here. And then you can click on the handle and drag that out all the way to the number 12, just like we did in Excel. Select the 11 and the 12, cut them, paste them beneath the one and the two. Again, click on the handle and drag this across so that the cells autofill, and then select the numbers one through 20. Because we've already selected the cell border on the first ones, that cell border will appear with all of these as well. And then you can click here to adjust the width and how deep the cells are. And if you want, you can also change the font to make it a little bit easier to see. And your hundreds chart is finished. And just like in Excel, if you want to fine tune it even more, you can make adjustments to all of the cells simply by clicking here. Now in Google Sheets, remember that you can type the title of your document here. To download this as a PDF, the process is a little bit different. In Google Sheets, you will click on File, and then Download, and then you'll see your download options here. In this case, I'll choose to download as a PDF. And when I do, that will process, and there is the finished PDF. Okay, that's how to create a hundreds chart in Excel and in Google Sheets. You can download these 200 chart using the links below, but also I would like to challenge you to try creating your own. So open up either Excel or Google Sheets, type in the number one, the number two, and from there create your own hundreds chart. Again, thank you so much for watching this video.